Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Hope everybody's doing okay today. Y'all remember when I bought this truck? Well, it's getting sold because I don't need it when I go to Utah. And you remember when I bought the bike? My 1998 Honda Goldwing. That's the one I'm keeping. You remember when I got the trailer? Well, now it's fully legal. I can drive it legally. Not drive it, but pull it behind the truck legally. I have a tag on it now. Pull it behind the bike legally. Goodness gracious, I can't talk today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to walk down this way. I'm going to show you the other vehicles real quick. Um, so I picked up this blue van. I don't know if I remember... I don't remember telling you guys about this blue van. Um, gentleman needed rent money and he was a little bit behind so I made a deal with him to pay his rent in trade for the van. So I got this van from him and I covered his rent for him and he's still here. He's, he's doing okay now. He's covering his own rent again. This is the van the wife gets, the ex, when she uh, gets her driver's license. I got to do a little work on it. I've got to fix the door handle and such on it. But other than that, it's pretty good. It runs and drives pretty good. Now, I just picked up this car yesterday. 1990 Lincoln. Um, gentleman was pulling out. Couldn't take the car with him, so I got it cheap. And I'm going to sell it. Uh, recoup my money on it. I just did it to help him out. Other than that, it's a fairly decent car. Um, overdrive doesn't work in it, but that's okay. Uh, the paint's not real good. But it does run and drive, and um, it'll drive through, you know, first, second, third gear. You just don't put it in overdrive because it'll slip. But the other three gears are fine. Um, the van runs and drives great. Uh, just needs some cosmetic work. Um, the Lincoln, on the other hand, I'm just going to get rid of it. I've got a couple people coming to look at it. It's got a 5.0 liter engine in it, so I'm getting rid of it. And, uh, because I don't need it. So it's going to go to the bye bye. So, because I don't need it, I'm going to send it down the road to somebody else. Um, I only paid 300 bucks for it, so if I can sell it for, you know, five or six, make a profit on it, that's great. I'll do that. Uh, like I said, it runs and drives. It just doesn't have, I'm just not a car guy. Um, I hate being in a cage, period. So, when I get ready to move to Utah in the spring, I'll take my bike and my trailer. My brother will come up and pick up my kitty cats, and uh, I'll be on my way. Um, so, it's going to be great. My brother wants to sell me his Ford Exploder, or Explorer. <laughs> I call them Exploders. Um, he wants to sell me that, so maybe when I get to Utah, I'll buy that from him. But in the meantime, all I really need is my... Because I won't be doing everything I'm doing now. All I really need is my my beautiful kitty cat right here. My beautiful kitty. She's an Annie girl. Annie girl is my beautiful kitty. I need her for sure. She's got to go with me. Um, Psycho is probably going to stay here. Simply because it took a year to get him acclimated to living in the trailer and being around other people and being around the campground and all of that and he's very comfortable here he's very comfortable here aren't you psycho mokiti huh buddy very comfortable in this house huh yeah we're just gonna we're gonna let jimmy take care of you yeah yeah we're gonna let jimmy take care of you huh so my neighbor jimmy is going to be doing the maintenance here and he's going to move into this camper when I leave so this will be his house his place to live psycho since he's so comfortable in this house and he's so comfortable with everybody in the campground I'm afraid that if I take him out of this situation now because he was completely feral and I put him in a strange house in a strange neighborhood when he hears a noise or he freaks out a little bit, he's going to run out in the street and get ran over. And that bothers me. Um, I always try to do what's best for my animals, not what's best for me. I love Psycho to death. 
He's a, an amazing cat, but at the same time, he is um, it's a word I'm looking for. Well, he's kind of like a, a landmark here. Um, it's funny because people that were here last year that are that are coming in again this year because they come through annually always ask me, where's Psycho? Where's Psycho? <laughs> I go, he's out here somewhere, and they wait for him to come around so they can give him a little treat and stuff. They don't do that with Annie. Um, it's funny because Psycho is very social, and every time a new camper pulls in, he's got to go check it out. He's got to go see who's here and see what's, you know, what they're all about and everything else. And it's just amazing. So this is his property. He's going to stay here. Um, he loves it being here. And Annie, Annie is more addicted to me than she is anything else. She doesn't care where she's at as long as I'm there. So I'll take her with me. Psycho will stay here with the campground. Um, he's kind of like a landmark here. Um, Everybody expects to see him when they come in and stuff. And I know Jimmy will take damn good care of him. So I'm going to leave him here with Jimmy. And uh, that way they can both be happy. I hope everybody has a fantastic day out there. Keep smiling. Keep trying. And never give up.